This is one happy family having a love filled happy meal together at the dining table of warm and this is a reality check no one these days has the time to eat together what with our own busy stressful lives we all want to unwind after a long day our own way and do our own thing but stop right there when we eat while watching tv or reading we tend to overeat because we help ourselves to bigger portions because god forbid we get up to fill our plates when tom cruise is about to save the world so go back and keep some traditions just the way they were because that's how they make sense eating together is only step 1 now it would help if the food we were eating was actually healthy because remember lean is in though there is actually something known as taking it too far very funny guys very funny can i get the real food please can you bring out the real food hello real food please here yeah. oh they can't be serious well never mind i'm going to show you how to make a healthy meal in a jiffy and i'm going to show you how easy it is to do well essentially a healthy meal is a meal that isn't too heavy you ask me why well devanshi take over sure adi metabolism is the rate at which our body burns calories and when we go to bed at night our metabolism slows down and since we're not doing much work at that time all the surplus calories that we have get stored as fat so it's really important that our dinner be light and healthy well done partner and hence this healthy meal for which i've got some parboiled vegetables and look at them so beautiful some carrot some peas some beans some cauliflower okay so let's get started with the dish now in a pan a few drops of olive oil chopped onions chopped garlic and now we will lightly saute them till they turn translucent now into this i'm adding some chopped up green capsicum saute it Right now, into this goes my parboiled vegetables. A pinch of garam masala, half a teaspoon of salt. Stir it up nicely. All right, my vegetables are done, and now I'm going to transfer this into my baking dish. Now for a very quick tomato gravy. Into the pan, couple of drops of olive oil, chopped garlic. some finely chopped tomato let it take on a little bit of color pinch of salt to taste some finely grated paneer now into this my tomato puree and now you just need to let this cook out for about 5 minutes Okay my tomato and paneer gravy is ready and now I'm going to pour it over my vegetables Now to pour them on Now we'll just top it off with the remaining grated paneer and a little bit of fresh coriander and I'm going to pop that in the oven for not more than 10 to 15 minutes because everything is already pre-cooked and I just want all the flavors to come together and the vegetables to get a little more soft but maintain their crunch Well in a few minutes that yummy jalfrezi is going to be ready and out of the oven. Well, there you have it. The paneer is nicely browned. As you can see, everything is nicely come together and this should be really delicious for a nice and healthy dinner. Oh yeah. 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 Ye